Hello everybody and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. Today I am going to do some more cars. Um, probably about five. Uh, we're going to try to upgrade some stuff here. I already got the bolt um, unfastening upgrade while we were off camera. I only had to do one car to do it so that was helpful. Uh, let's just jump right in. Let's do this Royale Bianco. Now with this I am going to try to cut out most of my bolts so that way I can get more cars in. So I also did the audio so that way it's easier to hear what's going on without having to hear the drone of that above 65% I believe, yes. And uh, I see what the problem is here. It's this tie rod right here. It's just so rusted. Alright, now I just gotta put it back in. And we should be good. First car done. It's just one little problem. Alright, next on our list is going to be another Bianco, but this one's going to be the brakes. So let's see how this turns out. Here she is. Let's put her up on the lifter. Let's see what's going on. Three parts, I can already see one. It might be two parts, a disc and a caliper. Two parts down, aha, and another disc. Alright, so let's just unbolt this. We'll need two discs and a caliper. The caliper I might be able to fix, but I don't believe the disc can be fixed. So we'll just have to scrap those out. I'm actually really glad that this unbolting is as, as fast as I remember, and I can't do the caliper now, so that's fun. Because it really saves time on trying to do these parts videos. In fact, actually, you know what? I can just go here to brakes pull out these two things that I need because I couldn't repair that one I'm going to have to get all three parts but at least I can scrap them out and of course this was ventilated there we go now I have a choice here I can do the Bianco the piccolo that's the same with the brakes and the piccolo I just don't feel like doing but I also have this Royale crown which is also brakes but it's a new car so you know what let's take that aha uh -huh. it is a Chevy Cruze not bad about the same amount of displacement as before up on the lift and get those brakes done. Ah, I see another problem here. It looks like a pad and a disc. Aha, here we are. Caliper. So caliper, pads, and a disc are all bad. That should be the part, three parts that we need. Alright, we got one on. We got our best ventilated discs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sickness is taking a lot out of me. My pronunciation skills. This is the last episode that I was doing. I said Bianco wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I practiced it off screen. Totally. No, I didn't. I'm just going with the flow here. Oh, look at this. We already got an Echo's Cobra. This is the new car that they added, or one of the three new cars that they added. Um, 
I'm not going to be able to unlock it for a while, unfortunately. So I might decline the job, but I might keep it in there just because I feel like it. Um, decline these other two jobs, see what they give me. Still not a bad car. Looking forward to doing one of those in another video. Ooh, this should be interesting. A little Honda Civic with some engine problems. His VTAC went too high. <sighs> Rusty. So timing. Oh, wow, they gave me some parts for that, too. Interesting. So engine problems and timing. Well... Like I was saying before, this these things that never would go wrong before, the exhaust manifold cover, there must be something different going on here. Oh well. More fun. Ooh, that filter needs replacing. One more part. Hmm. Bet you it's a spark plug. Oh, not a spark plug. Hmm. Need the starter motor. Was the starter motor? No, is an ignition coil. Okay, so I can put that back in. Alright, I'm back with all the parts that I need to put in this car, and then we're going to start off with the filter. Okay, now we're going to do the timing, so that way we can get it out of the way. And I forgot the pump. Pumpo, wrong. cover. Ooh, that looks so much better than the stock one. And we're going to do the coil and the battery, and I believe that's all it. Ooh, the timing belt. Oh, I needed to go back down there. Okay, this is going to take right, a second. Here's the timing belt. This is the bad one. I'm going to go get the new one and put it in. Alright, let's put the belt in. If it will allow us to put the belt in. I think I broke the game. Everything's broken. Everything's dead. Um. Help. Alright, timing's in. And I will meet you at the end of this. Ooh, this will be a great one to end our video off on. The Moloch. This is a DLC vehicle, our first DLC vehicle of the series, and it has engine problems. This is a weird car considering how it has, I believe, two cylinders in it. And is also very rusty. Should be an interesting build. Let's see how much is wrong with it, and I'm going to assume everything is wrong with it. Everything is wrong with it, so there we go. Looks like I'm going to be moving a lot, removing a lot of cosmetic bits, though. Actually, it's got to be below 47%, so this should be fun on a bun. I believe that the block is the bad thing on this. Don't quote me on it, but that does look pretty bad. I'm just going to start tearing everything off. No, let's screw it. Engine rebuild, bruh. Yeah, it is a two-cylinder. You can see the two spark plugs here the housing units for them both. I might have to edit this out and then bring you to the block itself, but I haven't even discovered a single part yet, so this should be fun. This here will be the crankshaft, I believe. Oh, it won't let me remove it, duh, because I don't have the ignition module out. 
Now I should be able to remove it. Alright, and that's the crank shaft itself. That's the shaft. This is the cam shaft, I believe. That should be an interesting view to get this on. Stop fighting me. Oh, I see a problem here. While I was out, I found out that I could uh, unlock the uh, tablet finally. So I'm installing these ignition uh, distributor parts now, so that way I can get that out of the way. I'm going to have to raise the car up. Apparently both pistons were bad, but the crankshaft itself was fine. So I can put the crankshaft in and put the new pistons in. Tried to get both new because you can't repair those. While I'm down here, I might as well fix the gearbox that I took all apart. And the beauty of doing this is, is that at least I know now that there was a reason for me doing all that. Not all this per se, but I could take. I had to get down here to get the pan off, or at least. Okay, now that the gearbox is done, I'm going to get back to work on the pistons. Get those back in. These are the brand new ones. If I can sell those and make a decent profit off the bad ones. Put this back on. I'm going to need that push rod. I bought a new one too for that. I thought these, uh, this carburetor, not the carburetor, the rocker arms beside it were the ones that were bad. But apparently they just come in. So that was interesting. Let's check our progress. Yeah, it's all done, so I just gotta put this back together, which I'll show you now. So probably edit out the taking it apart, so why not just show you putting it back together? You can see this car has a lot of bolts, and actually these cars aren't very profitable when you try to buy them from the auction house and do them up yourself. They're just nothing but holes for you to sink your money into. So I probably won't be buying one to do up in this video, especially because you can't do anything with them because they're special car parts. So, I mean, I, there might be an engine swap version of this, but I highly doubt it. This is probably one of the more painstaking processes to do because, well, maybe not. Just putting it together, it's got to highlight what I need to do next, which I'm actually surprised x Note still does. Put this back on, and I believe that should be the majority of it. now to go underneath the car again and put the pan on and then I can lift it up or I can put it back down and do the oil and it should be good oh I forgot the belt too I'm gonna have to get the belt such a flat muffler too Considering it's an all in one, but it's tiny. Next video, we'll be tackling this Bianco and the Kyrian. Um, maybe eventually we'll get to that Echoes Cobra. Um, as always, leave a comment down of how you thought or what you think we should do. Um, come back and see what's in store. Bye.